Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Turn up for your birthday. It's your birthday. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing y'all how to I make my number my number cakes. So um, I have an order for a number 21, and I'm just gonna show y'all the numbers that I ordered. I ordered these off of Amazon. So they come in a box like this, and you get all of the numbers from zero to nine. So, and I got the size, I think this is a medium. So they, they are big for it to be a medium. So yes. You get all of these numbers. I think I paid like $13 um, off of Amazon. And they have different companies that have these. Um, or you can just print it off on your computer, big numbers, and just, you know, use that. But those are easier to me because, you know, um, you have them all the time. You ain't got to worry about printing them out. So, we're going to get started. So, this is my... 21. I'm just going to bring y'all down a little bit more so y'all can see um, better. So this is the 21. So I like to bake my cake in this size pan. That way I can, you know, do both numbers on one, on one layer. But, you know, with the number cakes, you have to do two layers of the cake. So, I have to bake two of those when I do my number cakes. All right. So, first thing I'm going to do is put on some gloves. Oh, you guys, I'm tired. I hope y'all been doing all right. I know I haven't did a video in a while. But... I'm going to be doing, I've been so busy, you guys, with two kids and a teenager and trying to run a business. So, I'm going to be doing more videos. Um, this weekend, I have order for candy apples, so I'm going to be doing a candy apple video. Um, and don't forget, if you're new to my channel, to subscribe and hit that notification bell below. So, it will let you know every time I upload a video. All right, so I gotta get my board that I'm gonna sit it on. And I'm sorry, I don't got all this ready, y'all. So I got a bigger size board than this, but I like to use the smaller boards. That way, you know, everything is together. It look just closer together to me when it's on a smaller board but you know you can use a bigger board and I might use the bigger board let me see but the bigger boards that I have are really big like and they're not gonna fit in my cake box so that's why I'm probably gonna use this is the bigger board that I have, but let me see, it's just so much room on that board. So yes, I'm gonna use this smaller board. All right, and I'm gonna take my cakes out. Well, I have one already out. And it's best to put your cakes in the fridge because it's easier to cut when you have them in the fridge, um, it's easier to, you know, your numbers, to cut your numbers out. And it's easy to handle by them being so big. You can handle them better when they're chilled. So what I do is I bake my cake and then I wrap them in saran wrap while they're still kind of warm so that traps in the moisture and then I put them in the fridge. All right, I'm trying to see which side I'm gonna, gonna use. 
which we're gonna use this side. Okay, so I got three different kinds of knives because mm, whichever one, you know, cuts better. It's best to use a smaller knife because you can maneuver with your numbers better that way. All right, so I wanna start in the middle because I don't like the edge part. It's like a little, it's not as, it's not as deep as the, um, you could just put them on the counter for me and I get them as the side part. So the middle is kind of, it's kind of thicker. So you just want to get them on there the way that you want them. All right. So that's the way that I want them. So, I'm gonna move this one. So I'm gonna, gonna do my two first. Wait, move that one. Just gonna just cut around a number. It's very easy. And with the leftover cake, you can make cake pops. You can eat it. I always get mine to my mother, she always come and get my leftover cake. Cause when you make cake, you just get, I have so much cake around all the time, just caked out. do the same thing.
So that's my one. So we have everything cut out. So what I do, now that you're gonna cut it out, you can see where you cut it. So I'm just gonna take the pieces off or from around it. And it's cut, but I just like to make sure because I do not want to mess it up and have to make another cake. And there's your 21. All right. So now I'm going to get my other layer out. And it's starting, my cake is starting to get soft. It's still cold though, so I can still move it without it messing up. So there's your 21. So now I'm gonna get this mess up and get the other pan, and then we're gonna cut out the next part. Okay, so that's our first 21 we cut. So now what I'm gonna do is get my, take this one out. I'm just gonna, Flip it over to get it out the pan. And it has been in the fridge, so it had it is chilled. Alright. So instead of me taking the stencils that I use. I'm going to take the actual number that I cut out. So, they will be the exact same size. Okay, you see I used the two more of the ones I cut out from the other cake instead of using the stencils. So, I'll just do the same, you just do the same way. And I did this so that I'll be, you know, both of them would be the exact same size. But if you want to use the stencils, you can. If that's better for you, then you can do that. And you can also print it out, print the numbers out on your printer using cornstalk paper. 
or even well, I don't know about regular paper how that would do but I think the cornstalk paper would work better So I think I got everything pretty good, but I'm going to go around again just to make sure. But once I move this, I can see where I have everything or where I cut. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one on my board. a little better y'all can see we are down just a little bit more okay all right so i'm just gonna take off the pieces that i cut and i usually take this a ziploc bag and put my extra cake in that's that'll keep it fresh and you can freeze it in your ziploc bags if you need it to use for cake pops and but i'm gonna get rid of this and i'm gonna clean everything up and i will be back with y'all okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and decorate the bottom layer and let's see what tip i'm gonna use use the big round tip And this is buttercream icing. If y'all would like me to do a recipe on my buttercream icing, 
I sure will. This will be down in the corner. And I will do a, a tutorial on my buttercream icing. All right, squeeze it, get all the air out. Now, I'm just gonna go around and just put a little dollops. And that's all you do. Just put little dollops. Little big dollops. Because you want enough icing. And you can taste it. Gonna be Dose. Ain't that that um bottle of alcohol she bought? Duce. Duce. <laughs> I was mess that all about that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I so I'm gonna print out an edible image. And I also have edible images for sale. And I have a couple other things. I'm going to be doing my website and I'll be letting y'all know everything that I will be having for sale if y'all are interested. All right, so now I'm going to do my number two. You going to print my label out for me? And y'all, I just got a new printer. The printer I had was not printing out my color correctly. So... Thank God I had a warranty. I always check and see if you got a warranty. Look it some more to it. Make it sit up a little higher. I had it kind of thin in the middle. And now we're going to put our other layer on top. And wherever you see thin, little thin areas, I'm just filling them in. So, you know, you want your, you want to be able, your second layer to sit up a little high. Sit up on top of the icing. You want to be able to see this layer of icing up under your top layer. Some more icing. And I don't know if I got it in my other video. I was telling y'all if y'all would like me to do a video on how I make my buttercream icing, which this is what it is, buttercream icing. Then I would just leave a comment below and I will do a tutorial on how I make my buttercream icing. very easy 
not hard. It's not a hard recipe. But I've been making it for so long, I don't really use any measurements. I just, you know, you always, when you bake it, you taste as you go. So now I've been making it for so long, I just, you know, go by what I see. I just go by, you know, I don't use any measurements, but I'm gonna start using measurements. So when I do tutorials, I can give y'all the correct measurements for everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my top layer on. So, I'm gonna put my top layer on and I'm gonna get all my decorations that I'm gonna put on the top. So, now, let's put our second layer on. Okay. Here comes the second, second tier, the well, second layer, I'm gonna say second tier. All right, I'm just gonna sit it right on top of that icing. Try to get any crumbs. Now, I'll do the same with this one. Line it up the best you can. Right. Oh, I mistaken. Poked it. So now, before I put my top layer on of icing, I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna try to get as much crumbs as I can off of my board. And you just wanna smush it down a little just to make sure, you know, sticks. Continue to get my crumbs off. Why am I not using my turntable, y'all? Why am I not using my turntable? And I'm sitting here trying to turn the board around. I'm tripping. Really? Like, I never not use my turntable. I wasn't even thinking about it, y'all. That's how much I have had going on here lately. Like, I have had so much going on. But I thank God, you know, I thank God for all the orders because it's getting to the point where I'm gonna need some help, y'all. I'm gonna need some help. And I thank God, you know, because there's some people that, you know, wish they had the orders that I have. But, you know, so all I can do is thank God. Oh. All his work. All right, you guys. I can get all your crumbs off, as many as you can. I try to get all of them off. And it might be better to use a bigger brush, but this is the brush I've seen, so I just grabbed it. go in with our second coat of icing on the top. This is going to be our decoration. That top one is going to be our decoration. Because really the bottom one, that's just, you know, really to hold the cakes together. And it's, it's for decoration too, because, you know, you'll be able to see it from the top layer. 
But this is the layer that, you know, you mostly see. You go ahead and get some more icing, because I know this ain't gonna be enough. And I got in here. And I made this icing, you know, a little thicker than what I usually make if I'm doing like decorating a cake. And I got to smooth out because it, when it's a little bit thicker, you know, you the tip decoration shows better. And you don't want it running down the cake. All right. So you see how you can see the decorations in it from the tip. Now, if it was runnier than that, well, not as thick, you wouldn't be able to see. And it's more easier, too, when it's thicker when you're doing, you know, your decorations like this. Just get all your little thin spots. You can see the cake. And you put a dollop. Copper tongue in both hands. And but you can't tell as much work as I be doing. But it does bother me sometimes when I do. It doesn't bother me when I'm icing cakes and stuff like that, but it bothers me when I'm just constantly doing something like this right here. Make it work. I make it work. Gotta make that money, y'all. <laughs> All right. So I'm just making sure I don't have any open spots. Okay. So now. I am going to get, I'm going to put some chocolate covered strawberries on here and that's going to be my decorations. And I'm also going to put, um, the customer bought some alcohol bottles. So I'm going to put those on there too. So when I'm going to get everything, I'm going to decorations together and then I will return with y'all and we're going to decorate this number 21. Okay, you guys. So now I am about to... Dip my chocolate covered strawberries. Well, I'm dip my strawberries. Okay, 
So, since these are going on the cake, I'm gonna dye my chocolate a light blue. Well, a blue, because. And this is chocolate coloring. Um, it's by Chef Masters. You can get the set of all the colors off of Amazon. I know y'all say everything I ought to be on Amazon. It really do. to get that color blue. And I started from white. All right, I'm gonna get a piece of parchment paper. Put my strawberries on. Yeah, I feel like looking for the parchment paper. Uh. Okay, on to the next one. And if you put it in a cup, it makes dipping your strawberries so much easier. All right, and I'm going to dip one more and then I'll finish them up and I'll be back with y'all to decorate them on the cake. some sprinkles. I'm going to put some of the mm, they look blue but again they look purple so I'm not going to put them on there. I know I said I was going to get one more and then I'm So, I'm gonna finish the panese and I'll be back with y'all. Okay, you guys, I am back. Hey, can you stay? Whoa, she's not a cake. Oh, he's talking about whoa, she's not a cake. That's nice. This is Tiana cake. Yes. <laughs> Are you learning the things out here? Yeah, they sent me a new printer. It's strawberry on it. Oh, that's nice. So this is the result. I'm not done. I'm going to add a couple more things. I'm going to add some money to it. But I will upload a picture letting y'all see, you know, um, how it looks when I'm done. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to let you know every time I upload a video. And I will catch you guys later. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, turn up for your birthday, it's your birthday.